One person was critically injured in an early morning shooting on University Avenue near Willow Street in Lafayette. Police say the victim's car was shot at as they were traveling on the road. Good morning, Akitiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. As the fentanyl crisis continues, law enforcement's response to overdoses involves carrying Narcan and other protective equipment. The Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office says they prepare their deputies to handle cases with an overdose as quickly and carefully as possible, just in case they come in contact with fentanyl. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor. Acadia Parish Sheriff's Office is warning people to be aware of card skimmers when at retail stores, gas stations, and ATMs. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. In Opelousas, a new property tax being proposed in the November election is the focal point of the Revive Opelousas initiative that will address issues the city has dealt with for decades. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. The St. Mary Parish Courthouse recently opened up a new sensory room to help make things less stressful for children waiting to go to court. We had a blast at the Churros Boutique inside the Mall of Acadiana. The busiest time of year is on the way for the Churros Boutique team, and they can't wait to see Acadiana. I'm Gerald Grunick. Have a great Halloween. Cold and windy again on this Halloween morning. Temperatures mid 40s. There will be some of these uh, isolated showers with us into the afternoon and then temperatures will get into the upper 50s. But uh, dress warmly. I think we're going to be dry for trick or treating tonight. It just will be very chilly, very breezy. You know, we had some beautiful Halloween to last like three to five years. So we were due for a bad one. This one's not going to be horrible. You just have to dress warm.